Let's go to Genesis chapter 49. Here was Jacob in his last days prophesying about the 12 sons of the things that are going to happen in their future. And it accurately happened. Here he talks about Joseph in chapter 49, Genesis verses 22 to 24. A fruitful bough or a wine by a well. His branches run over the wall. The archers have bitterly grieved him, shot at him and hated him. But his bow remained in strength and the arm of, arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From there is the shepherd, the stone of Israel. Now here we talk about Jacob speaking about Joseph. Calls him a wine. A wine is a grape wine, which is a, not a plant, rather a creeper. You know, it's not a tree, it's a creeper. So you look at the life of Joseph. He was shot by the archers. He was despised even by his own parents when he told him the dreams second time. And then he was hated by his brothers. He was, you know, so much put into trouble by uh, even at his workplace by Potiphar's wife. All along in his life, he was shot. He was hurt. He was in pain. But the Bible says his branches run over the wall. Just like how a creeper, a grapevine can climb a wall. So Joseph came over every challenge that life posed at him. That bitterness was, you know, of life was changed because Joseph did not have bitterness inside his heart. When people hurt you, when people make you feel bad, you know, when, when they have done evil against you, then there is pain in your heart and you have a choice whether to hold on to pain or forgive. Joseph chose the latter. He decided to forgive. He decided that he will let go of the hurt and let God come into his life, come into his situation. He did that. He forgave his brothers. He forgave people who are around him. Now, if you ask me, how do you know, Pastor? There's no record of Joseph ever complaining, murmuring, gossiping, lamenting even once concerning those who have hurt him. He was forgiving. You might ask, Pastor, but the thing is so horrible. It returns to me every day. I want to tell you, forgive every day. Bless those who have hurt you every day till God removes it out of your mind. It is possible. The Bible says, Matthew 5, 44. Jesus says that, you know, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who despitefully use you and persecute you. Make a choice. It is a choice. Forgiveness is not by chance. It is a choice. It is not spontaneous. It is a willful action. 